open a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation file, then add blank slides. The first slide will serve as the title slide for the Furpix One Word Preliminary Activity. In this slide, place or insert a picture of the Furpix One Word Game logo. This logo can be searched and can be downloaded from Google. Adjust the picture or the logo to fit the entire size of the slide. Every time a new slide is added, it is better to set its layout to blank since most of the time what you will be placing are pictures and shapes. For the next slide, you can choose to use a plain white slide or you can also download if you want to uh, some pictures that will serve as a background for your fur pics set. If you choose to have a background image for your fur pics one word, copy it on the second slide and then adjust to fit the size of the entire slide. Next to tackle is your square matrix on which you will be placing the four pictures in each set. By the way, for this tutorial, I have already prepared the different pictures which I will be using and have placed them in a different document file for ease of access. You can choose to place your square matrix in any spot you like in your slide, but as for me, I prefer to place it on the right side of the slide. Next to insert are the four different pictures you have prepared, all of which must be relevant to the first word that you would want your audience to guess. May they be your classmates or your students. In choosing the images when you do research, make sure that each picture gives or shows a hint or clue to that particular word. In my sample here, the first word I have included is evaluate. I made sure to choose and downloaded images that suggests and can give or show hints to the word evaluate. Next to tackle are the shapes or boxes which will contain the possible letters of the word. These letters must be present in order to give the students a better idea of what the word is since they will know the possible letters that will spell the word. In my sample here, I chose to insert a soft round edge box shape and chose red as the fill color. As for the shape outline, I used compound type and adjusted its width to 4 points. You can decide for yourself what color you will use as fill, the type, and the width of the outline of your selected shape. Once you're done with the specification of your desired shape, you may now insert text to the shape or box. Adjust the size of the font to make it perfectly fit within the shape. Select your desired font style. In my sample here, I used Amasis MT Pro. Once you're done finalizing the specification of your text box, you may now duplicate the shape and edit the text inside. Do this duplication process until you have the complete number of your desired text boxes. 
In my sample here, I am only using up to 12 text boxes. Once you're done with the text boxes, you may now start inserting blank text box which will be placed under the set of 4 pictures. The number of blank text boxes must be equal to the number of the letters of the word or words that is the answer. You may duplicate the existing text box and delete the text to make it blank. You may adjust its size to your liking and place it under the pictures. Duplicate the blank text box according to the total number of letters of the answer. Once you're done finalizing, duplicate the slide. Adjust the size of the text boxes with letters according to the size of the blank text boxes. You may have to minimize the letters if needed. Here in my sample, I had to minimize the font size since the blank text boxes I have inserted are smaller in size. Right-click on the text box and select Bring to Front. This is to ensure that during the transition, the letter will move over the other letters as well as the pictures and not behind them. Drag the adjusted text box with the letter and place it over the first blank text box. Do the same adjustment with all the other letters required to spell the answer. In this sample, the word is Evaluate. I would like to emphasize that all these adjustments must be made in the duplicated slide.
Once you're done finalizing the adjustments in the duplicated slide, click Transitions then Apply Morph. You will see a preview of how it will be displayed during your presentation. And that's it! We're done with our first 4 picks 1 word. Just follow and apply the same procedure if you want to add more slides for your 4 picks 1 word. One more additional reminder that I would like to share is that, in preparing for this kind of activity, the researching part for the pictures may take a lot of your time. Patience really is a must if you want to come up with this kind of PowerPoint presentation. In my experience, there were times when I searched for a certain word and a lot of pictures did appear in the results but with little or no variation at all. So I had to think of synonyms for that word, hoping that a different but related image may pop up in the, the results. I am usually using this kind of activity as a preliminary activity or in the motivation part of my lessons. I choose keywords that can be used as a springboard for a new topic to be discussed. If you're a student, you may also use this kind of activity as preliminary activity when you are doing reporting. Hopefully, you have found this video helpful. Happy editing ahead! If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more contents like this. Thank you for watching! If you are still watching up until this point, thank you very much for your time. See you in my next video!